morning, everybody. It's Saturday, June 21st. Um, it's about 6 a.m. Actually, it is 5:45 a.m. Kurt and possibly Carlos should be at the starting line for their half marathon, which uh, is nuts to even think about running a half marathon. Um, I should still be sleeping, getting ready for my 5K, my first ever 5K this morning. Since I talked to you last, since Thursday morning, uh, my 5K has been canceled due to flooding in the River Valley. Um, the city's actually keeping everybody out of the River Valley. The whole River Valley area from the city limits is shut down. Um, because of flooding and high, high water levels, so um, I don't get to do my 5K, which really sucks because I was getting really excited about it. But uh, I took yesterday off like I was planning to anyway, so I'm gonna go out for a run today on the route that I've planned. If uh, all goes well, it is. Uh, is actually a 10k route. Um, not that I expect to run the full 10k, but I plan on running at least five, and then maybe push it to six or seven. But uh, we'll kind of see how things feel as I run. Um, I was hoping to start about the same time as Kurt as the half marathon, so I was out running at the same time as they are, so that's what I'm talking to before I go running. I'll obviously talk to you again later, um, or during, at whatever point I decide to stop running. I can uh, communicate with, talk to you again, and update you on how it's gone, and everything, but yeah. It's a long route. It's a route I've never done before. Um, still with the city, so it's not a big deal. But um, I talked to you before about my irritable bowel syndrome thing. So it seems to be acting up a bit the last couple of days. So it's kind of scary to be that far away from home. And there else, there's also no stores or restaurants or anything that's open during the farthest part away from home. So uh, if I have issues, I have some problems. So hopefully everything goes well. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Bye. Everybody. It's still Saturday. Now 6.42 a.m. I just completed six kilometers. Not happy with my effort. After I hit three kilometers, I just died. Stopped running. I started running again, but I walked longer than I wanted to. I was upset with myself that I even stopped running. Start running again, past the four kilometer mark, and then once again I just wimped out. I don't know. I didn't have the energy, the stamina, whatever. My, my legs were generally okay, but my my breathing, my heart, my lungs is what bugged me. Uh, now the wind's picking up though I'm on this side of the lake so hopefully the wind's coming from behind the camera so hopefully you guys can still hear me so I walked maybe a quarter of the fourth kilometer probably about a quarter of the fifth kilometer and a little bit less actually of the sixth I ran more of kilometer six than I did kilometer five so Five minutes into Kurt's half marathon, I would assume 
that he's probably, I don't know, six miles into it, thereabouts. So, almost halfway probably, as long as everything's going well. I'm gonna keep going on the route that I planned, which totals out to be 10 kilometers. So after I finish going around the lake this time, I head back up into my neighborhood. I'll go around the outside the long way. So I'll hit seven kilometers before I get to the front end of the lake over there. Yeah, I was really hoping I could hit six or seven kilometers running without stopping, but obviously not quite there yet. All right, boys and girls. Just past eight kilometers. It is currently seven o'clock, 7 a.m. I think I've just totally confused myself. I've said many times to you guys that if I stop running in the middle of my run, it's a lot harder to start running again. Morning. It's a lot harder to get up, get going again, start running. So I walked, actually I probably ran about three quarters of kilometer six. When I hit kilometer seven, that's when I stopped and started vlogging. And just hit 8,000 steps for the day. Um, when I started, when I hit kilometer seven, that's when I stopped and started vlogging and walking. Then after I stopped vlogging, I decided to start running again. And I ran until I hit eight, eight kilometers. That was a whole lot easier than what I thought it would be. I almost felt better running during the eighth kilometer than I did running during the first five, first six. I don't know. I'm coming up to the spot where the route that I planned down is supposed to turn and kind of head back home towards home. But I think I want to keep going. Maybe turn this into 12 or 13 kilometers. So, hey, maybe we'll do some more running. Talk to you later, bye. All right. be the longest longest run walk that I've ever done and I think I can safely say that I ran I think at least 80% of the first 10k so I wasn't very happy with myself after the first five or six because I walked more than I wanted to but now that I'm over 10 and I've ran 80% of it. I'm really happy and my pace is under seven minutes for the first 10 kilometers. Not sure how much I'm gonna run between here and home. So my pace is gonna drop significantly. I'm gonna try and keep my walk pace up higher, but all of you supporting me the way you have, has really pushed me. Having Kurt run this half marathon, which is a little over 21 kilometers, has really pushed me to do at least half that much. It still sucks that I'm not doing my race today, but it'll come. July 12th will come really fast. And that will now be my first ever 5K. And then I'm hoping that they reschedule the uh, the better half marathon that I was supposed to do today. Uh, and it's on a day I can actually do it. You know, as most of us on this journey have already figured out, 
the human body is amazing. When you think you have nothing left and can't push any further, you just do it and you, su you succeed. It's, I never expected to go. I thought 10 kilometers was even a, being overly uh, optimistic. But now I'm come up on 11 kilometers, probably hit 13 before I get to the house. So yeah, amazing. Quite happy with that. Hey everybody. So I've passed the 11 kilometer mark. I uh, stopped at 7-Eleven during my 11th kilometer. Picked up some coconut water. When I come running in the mornings, oh, I almost always, I always come running in the mornings, but so when I go running in the mornings, I never, I almost never have anything to drink before I leave the house. And when you run, when you run like three to five kilometers, it's not too big of a deal. But I noticed today that once you get up into the higher, higher distances, Eight plus, having something to drink is a good idea. I still find it hard to run holding something. A water bottle or something like this is a lot easier than the camera while I film or something. See, now the shy runner in me is coming out. And it's later in the morning than I normally run, so more people are out and out and awake. Doggy. One hour, 27 minutes, 12 kilometers. My overall pace is 7.15. Wow, that's pretty good. This last kilometer, I did 8 minutes, 16 seconds. See, that's, that's the thing I wanted to talk about. It's the glide stuff. Carlos talked about... Um, and Kurt gave him an amen for it. <laughs> the gold bond body friction stuff. But we can't get that up here. So I went to the running stores and they have this other stuff. I've only used it once and I've never really noticed too much of a too much of an issue with it or that it improves anything. But again, I've been doing short distances. So today I didn't put any on. I tell you, my, my chest is burning. That's the place that I've noticed the most, is that my chest, kind of in this area, will get chafing, rubbing, whatever you want to call it. So I tried it once on there, but again, it was a short distance I ran, so I didn't know how much it helped. But during my 11th, my 12th kilometer, after I hit 11 kilometers, I tried running, and I thought I'd run until it said I hit 12. But yeah, this was really burning, so I stopped sooner than I wanted to. But so if you guys use the glide stuff, especially you guys, where is that? Is it mostly your chest that you use it on? Or are there other areas that you have issues with that you that you put it on? Um, I don't know, is it really worth the expense? I guess as I continue to increase my distances and or my speed, I'll probably need it more and more. It's just a gorgeous day today. It's supposed to be like 23, 24 Celsius, which I think is 85, 90-ish. I don't know, maybe 85-ish. Fahrenheit. I'd have to check online and see what the conversion is, but after all that torrential downpour, the sky is perfectly clear, bright, bright sun. It's just awesome. Awesome to be alive. And it's kind of funny. On Facebook, 
yesterday, my nephew's wife, so my niece, um, posted a question on my timeline asking me about my race today, if they're still running it or if it's been postponed. And before I had a chance to see it and respond, my wife responded saying, no, it's been canceled. So my niece re replied, well, that sucks. <laughs> my, wife, my wife responds to that. Saying that I'd already already signed up for another for another race and talked about how shocked she shocked she was that uh, that she's talking about anything to do with me in the outdoors and especially including running. I've always always hated being outside. For the most part, that's usually because of bugs. I'm not somebody who likes being around bugs and getting attacked by flies and mosquitoes and all that kind of crap. So um, that's the main reason I don't like going outside. I don't like camping because when I was a scout, and yes, I was a scout, when I was a scout, when I was a little kid and I went camping with my parents, went to church campouts and stuff like that, I had an absolute blast. I absolutely loved it. Sitting around the campfire, looking at the stars. I loved it. My parents had a tent trailer. It was fantastic. But as I got to be a scout, I can't remember a single camp that I went on where my tent did not get flooded out in the middle of the night. I'd wake up in the middle of the night and I was completely soaked. All the, all the wood was soaked, so I couldn't build a fire. Even if we were close to vehicles, all the vehicles were locked. And of course, I didn't really want to wake up the leaders or anybody to get let me into the vehicles. And my stuff was soaked. So it didn't matter if we had a tarp. It didn't matter if I had the tent on top of a hill, at the bottom of a hill. It didn't matter. I was just flooded. And I absolutely hated it. The other, the other thing too is as I, as I got older in scouts, I, you know, I got bigger. I got taller. I got, even though I wasn't like fat, I wasn't in great shape. So, any camp that involved hiking or caving, I loved going in caves and everything. But. Anytime you're in a cave where it required tight spaces to get through tight spaces, I'm a bigger guy, so it's harder for me to get through. So anyway, anyway, I didn't like camping for that reason. I didn't like the outside because of the bugs. Um, so anyway, my wife, it's the first time my wife's made a comment like that about, about how surprised shocked she is about me running and, and uh, it was kind of funny. And, in brackets at the end of her comment she put in she put in brackets something to the effect of don't worry honey I still love you or something like that thinking that I was that I would get upset with the comment so I just responded saying no need for the clarification sweetheart I'm just as shocked and surprised as you are each and every day because <laughs> I am I mean Kurt played football thinking back I wish I would have played football but I was way too scared to get hurt and uh, if I played football I probably would have been in better shape but anyway I played basketball and I wasn't very good I was always on the team until grade 12 I didn't make it grade 12 but I was on the team most of the most years from grade 7 up and Even, even up and down the court during the game, I'd just be like, oh, I gotta run back? What are you talking about? So, a combination of my hatred for the outside and bugs, and my lack of interest in running, this whole last six to ten months is, is, has been completely bizarre. But it's a totally different feeling. It's a totally different situation.
then the people I met online, they were into running or getting into running. It's like, okay, let me try this. This thing stopped recording again. So I saw everybody else getting in, into running. I said, okay, well, let me try this. I'm never gonna like running, but I'd like to work up to being you know, able to run 5K. Just to say I did, because that seems to be the big thing, all the CT 5K apps out there. I absolutely hated running in the gym. Such a small confined space, I hated. After about five steps getting to a wall, and it's like, oh, I gotta turn now. <sighs> running outside is completely different. So much freer. You're not confined, you can go wherever you want. Just about. I don't know if this is a lifetime thing, this running thing, but I'm definitely into it now and I'm getting even more into it. And today proves that I can just push and keep improving. And if I can do it, any of it, any of you guys can do it. Have a great weekend, everybody. Um, it is now 7.50, so Kurt should be, I don't know, 80% of the way done the half marathon, if not done already. So um, I can't wait to see his video and hear how things went for him. And uh, anyway, you guys take care. Have a great weekend. And keep pushing for your dreams, keep pushing for your goals, and keep being super. Bye.